anticipate, and anticipate the next chord. And here's the reason most people don't play better than they should. It's because they didn't do the exercise before they played the, the songs. And you know what? Most people are so busy trying to learn a song that they don't learn the theory and they don't do the, the they don't build the foundation. They're just playing. They have no idea what they're playing. They have no idea what they're doing. They're just going, that spot matches that note, and I know this chord because it feels like this. And that's it. It's learning, it's like learning to read by memorizing the words. If you don't know phonics, you can't play the big words. You can't say the big words, right? It's like, did you watch that spelling bee yeah. on, TV, on TV? Oh my gosh, those kids were incredible. I couldn't spell any of those words. Yeah. <clears throat> but that's how they spell. They learned little pieces. They learned the language. They learned the background for the word, the definition of the word. And then even if they don't know the word, they can figure it out. Same thing here. Once you start to study this, even the easiest of music that you learn, this is amazing. All right, now watch, and, and, I, and we'll go further with this as the weeks go by, but look at Can't Help Falling in Love with You. All right, so check this out. What key is it in? Yeah. The three major chords in the key of F are F, F, B flat, and C, right? Mm -hmm. The minor chords are D minor, G minor, and A minor, right? right. Mm -hmm. This one could be major. Sometimes it is, sometimes it is. Depends on the melody, all right? Now, there's a let's just see what they did. The first chord is F, right? Mm -hmm. Look up there and see, and it's called charting. You chart the, like a map. How did the composer get through this song? All right, what was his journey like? And we used the circle to do the chart, the charting. All right, the second chord is A minor. Wow. He went way back, right? All the way back to A minor. What's the third chord? D minor. Okay, then he jumped up to B flat and F and C and B flat and C. All the chords that are up there are in here, aren't they? Okay, isn't that cool? Now, there's progressions and there's things we can do that will take us further. But all I want you to see, in, in, in this song, it, you know, it kind of jumps around. It doesn't have like a specific pattern. But it's pretty cool when, when let's say you want to transpose this now. Okay, look. Key of F, right? Put F at 12 o'clock. Okay, what are the three major chords in the key of F? F, B flat, and C. Now, I think I'm just going to leave those on the top rim. Because I can see that one to the right and one to the left. It's those minor chords that are going to get me. So I'm just going to put those minor chords right underneath. The, so under the F, let's put a D. And look, there's my minor chords. D minor, G, and A minor. I'm just using the top two rows. All right? So that helps me see what chords are in that key. If I want to transpose to another key, I just put something else, like G at 12 o'clock. Three major chords are G, C, and D. Minor chords are E, A, and B. don't have the ability to just wing it 
in any key. So I've got to have some kind of logic in some kind of order in my head. And it doesn't always work, trust me. It's not always going to work. But 60% of the time are pretty good odds. And I can sit down now, finally, after years and years of trying to play with no music, finally I can sit down and at least try to pick out songs that I have never tried before. If I know how the melody goes in my head, the chords are still difficult, but I, after a while I can figure it out. Sometimes I just get lucky, and other times it's plain, brilliant logic. <laughs> okay? Everybody with me so far? Now, for the next few weeks, we're just going to continue on down this road because pretty soon, just like Ross just had a light bulb moment, all these little light bulbs are going to start coming on and we're just going to take a little bit at a time and give you examples in songs. But remember the class we did on how to practice? you got to look at these songs. Like, look at more on page 68. It is still the key of F, isn't it? Okay, F, D minor, G minor, C. Look, F, D minor, G minor. Look, if I chart it on the, on the circle, look up there. F, D minor, G minor, C. F, D minor, G minor, C. This whole stupid song, that's all there is. <laughs> now, what just happened to me? I'm not scared of this song anymore. Because I, I know how to divide it into eight bar sections, and I know that it repeats a lot, and that the chords, the chord progressions repeat over and over and over and over. Okay? So any song that you pick in here, if you look at Tuxedo Junction, still key of F. I don't know why this composer likes F. F, B flat, C. F, B flat, C. F, C flat, F, C. F, C7. F, B flat, C. Well, for crying out loud, that's all there is in this stupid song. Look, what are the three major chords in the key of F? F, B flat, C. That's all that came out of my mouth for this entire song. See, now I'm not scared of Tuxedo Junction anymore. Once you learn those three chords, it's almost monotonous, and you're going to start to get bored and go, there's got to be more chords that go in that song than this. Because easy play music takes all the shortcuts. Pretty soon you're going to go, ew, that's not satisfying me anymore. I'm more than a beginner and I hear things. <laughs> I hear dead people. <laughs> I hear things. When you start to hear things, you just take the chord and you just take a finger and move it one note or something. And you start to get brilliant. It's called improvisation. You just get the guts to do something else. Got the structure, and now you can just go on and do really cool stuff.